Hey everybody, this is David, aka Burlyman40, uh, here to do a video announcing the details to the Keep the Tin Rolling Contest. Um, I am smoking my No Name Check, and inside of it, you might uh, take a guess that it's Frog Morton on the town, and you'd be right, because I love it, and that's what I'm smoking right now. Um, I am shooting this video on location, and I'll explain why in a moment, um, and that is because uh, the ways to win this Keep the Tin Rolling contest, uh, actually there are two ways to win, and I'll explain why. Um, one of them is to shoot a video of you smoking your pipe on location at a local uh, historic landmark of some sort uh, in your area. Um, it can be significant historically, it could just be a, an attraction in your area, it doesn't have to be, you know, a landmark, but it could just be an attraction of some sort in your area um, that's popular locally. Uh, it could be popular nationally, I mean, that's fine, but uh, if you are blessed to live by uh, a national attraction in your area. But um, the local areas are really cool because most of us out here in, in YouTube land don't really know a lot about the areas where you live, uh, where each of us live. Um, so this would be a cool way for us to learn a little bit more about the other pipe presenters, where they live, um, uh, and just some, you know, interesting facts about that location. Um, I'll give you more information about my location here. I'll give you a quick glimpse of where I am. Um, if you can tell or not, I'm not sure, but I'm at a castle. And more details on that in a moment. But go on location, uh, shoot yourself smoking your pipe on location, uh, and give us some some details about that location, whether it's uh, the interesting historical facts or why it's uh, an attraction locally or whatever the case may be, like I said. Um, just give us some info about that area. But you have to be smoking your pipe on that location as a response, a video response to this contest. Um, it's a little awkward for me anyway doing these videos to begin with, but especially doing them in public. It's a Saturday and Saturday afternoon and this uh, is is a pretty good, it draws a pretty good crowd here at this uh, location where I am. So there are lots of people around. Um, had a family walk through and um, look at me kind of funny, but I get that whether I'm videotaping or not. I get funny looks. Um, so anyway, that's one way to win. The second way to win is um, something that doesn't require you to go on location videotaping yourself, uh, recording yourself, um, because not everybody will necessarily have the ability to do that, whether you don't have a camera um, that's portable, um, or uh, maybe you just record yourself on your, your desktops desktops camera you know you can't drag that with you out on location so the second way to win is to uh, do a video response as well to this contest where you quote whether it is a poem or a song or a dialogue from a movie or a television show uh, or a play you know whatever that makes reference to pipes or tobacco um, it doesn't have to be, um, it, it, let, let me say this, the poems should obviously uh, refer tobacco to tobacco or to, uh, excuse me, to pipes in some way, as should the songs. Um, but a movie can be a little different because maybe uh, the movie that you're going to reference, um, the lead character or the, the person speaking is just holding a pipe and they're not really uh, talking about pipes. So that's fine, just quote the dialogue from the movie, from the part of the movie where that character is holding a pipe, or smoking a pipe, and just make reference to that in your response, saying, hey, here's the movie or the TV show, and such and such a character is holding a pipe. And that'll work too. So those of you who can't get on location, you have a second way to win, or if you want to um, submit two entries to it, you can do one on location and one that refer, uh, makes reference to uh, something that makes reference to pipes or tobacco. That's cool too. Um, 
So I'll let you choose. Um, I guess if you submit two ways, I'll put your name in the hat twice. Um, because, uh, let me set my pipe down, I'm offering up to the winner uh, some Mac Baron Stockton roll cake, which I've not tried. I've not heard any of the other presenters talk about this. Um, so it's something that I don't think is, you know, <clears throat> widely talked about. So maybe it'll be something a little different that people, most people haven't tried. So a 100 gram tin of Stockton roll cake from MacBaron, and from my local tobacconist, a one ounce baggie of Latakia, just straight Latakia, um, are going to be the two tobaccos that you can win. Um, so entering twice, I guess, is appropriate for this if you so choose. Um, if you like either of these tobaccos, keep them for yourself and send on just one of the others. You don't have to send two uh, from here on out. Um, tobaccos but pick a tobacco then if you want to keep one and send the other one off uh, to the winner of your contest um, that's fine or if you want to send them both off because you don't like either send them both off uh, after you've taken a bowl out and tried it um, to the winner of your contest or if you like them both and want to keep them just get a tin of tobacco that you want to send off and send that to the winner of your contest so we can you know keep that tin rolling one way or the other so whether it is through um, whether it is this tobacco or these tobaccos or um, something that you choose. Either way is fine. I hope this makes sense. It makes sense in my head, which leads me to believe it probably doesn't make sense to anyone else. Uh, I'm going to be quick because I want to try to get this video finished in under 10 minutes. I tend to have difficulties uploading videos longer than 10 minutes. Um, so I'll tell you where I am. Um, I am at the Loveland Castle. I live in Loveland, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cincinnati. Uh, this awesome castle was built by hand, brick by brick, and stone by stone by a man named Harry Andrews. Um, there's quite a legend about Harry Andrews and this castle itself um, that I could go on and on about. But giving you some highlights, he did carry uh, each stone up uh, by hand from the banks of the river. He's on uh, <clears throat> the, the scenic uh, little Miami River here in Ohio. Um, is where the castle is. So he went down with five gallon pails and carried up stones, uh, you know, a bucket full at a time and used those to build the castle. He did build some, um, he did use some brick in building the castle, but he made those bricks himself uh, by pouring cement into uh, milk jugs, milk cartons. And then when it cured, he would uh, cut away the milk carton and then use that brick uh, for the castle as well. So he made the bricks that were used and carried up the stones. Very cool, very incredible guy. Uh, he served in World War I, uh, was stationed at Fort Dix in New Jersey, and the rumor, uh, the, the legend says uh, that he had, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, he was stricken with uh, cere cerebrospinal meningitis, um, was pronounced dead, sent to the morgue, um, they, doctors, the doctors who were going to do the autopsy said let's shoot him up with some of this new stuff called adrenaline directly into his heart got his heart beating again um, he eventually was able to sit up take nourishment uh, was blind for some time but then, get his, then did get his sight back and wore strong prescription glasses the rest of his life until he died at the age of ni uh, 90 in I think 1981 uh, burning some trash here on, on the castle property caught on fire and unfortunately uh, didn't survive the injuries. But uh, if I didn't say he started the castle in 1929, uh, a lot of great history here. I'm coming up on over nine minutes, so I'm going to cut it short. I'd encourage you to Google Loveland Castle or Chateau La Roche. Um, uh, maybe I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can click on it yourself and check out more about this incredible place. But until then, let's keep the tin rolling. If you have any questions or this doesn't make sense, it wouldn't surprise me. So you know, let me know. Uh, but I look forward to all of the great entries to this contest, and uh, I think I will let it go until the 30th of September 2011, when I will pick a winner out of a hat from the entries. So thanks for watching this long video and my location of Loveland Castle. Until then, put that in your pipe and smoke it, and God bless.